just showing you the next step here. Um, just remember, as I say, we've got the edge of the plastic sheet is right here, and the blue line, which is our sort of uh, template margin area, where we need to make sure we're evenly uh, wrapped around. So now, what we're going to do, we need to just actually remove that water. It has a soap solution in it from actually underneath. the glass and just pays to take a bit of time to actually bring it out and of course we're using a special little tool here that actually enables us to carefully and evenly remove the water and just continue to double check at every stage uh, it's not shifting, and if it is, you're sliding it back into the position it needs to be. And of course, as we remove the water, and we'll do this process that you can see me doing now, we'll do that a few times uh, to get the water removed and to create a bonded surface. So now what we're going to do, we'll just make sure the circuit not going to get wet. I'll just show you that from the other end. And here we go. So now I'm just removing. You'll be able to see the, wa the water just wash up to the edge. And just again, just making sure that we're lined up. Now you probably can't see it, but actually on the very edge of this plastic film that I've actually just put onto this glass is a row of very very fine wires and if you did not have it pointed out to you even if you were here with me now you would probably not see it but they are there and uh, that's part of our magic so I'm just actually feeling the edge so I can see it because depending on how the light's falling on the edge of that plastic you can't actually see it but uh, at the moment I'm pretty happy of the way that's all looking see we've got some, some water just sitting between here and you can see here now this actual part here is actually um, not going to be hanging on the glass at all so now you can get a real close-up view as that comes out to the edge. And of course, uh, from your view, where you're viewing this, it might be a little bit difficult to see the wave of water that's coming out because of the uh, um, cotton sheet that the glass is sitting on. It's, it's got some wrinkles on its own, but I think you might have just seen it at the end. So we're gonna keep doing this for the next five minutes and um, remove that water because uh, there is still quite a bit of water under here and uh, it's just as we do this process it will um, be eventually removed. So at this stage now we're um, getting pretty much to the end of this process. As you can see, if you look closely, you can see how the foil actually moves because it's actually sitting on a bed of water. Now that water has to eventually dry out to ensure that this is permanently installed and um, it's in place. So if this was in a vertical window, uh, you'd certainly want to be able to secure this from sliding down because overnight you might come back to the job site in the morning and you might have found that it's uh, slid down the window um, by you know some distance which uh, is going to create a problem for you. So. Um, we're fortunate in this situation, as you can see, it's sitting on a table and it's very, um, very flat and so nothing will move and so then it's just a matter of uh, the emulsion drying out and so forth. And so what we now have here now, because of that plastic sheet is sitting on this glass 
this whole glass now when it's connected to a computer is totally interactive. So you can use finger control, pen, touch, uh, your hand, gloved hands will make this totally interactive. So what I'm going to show now is uh, even though there is a plastic foil that's uh, actually an electronic device now um, on this piece of tempered 4mm glass, in fact it still has very excellent um, uh, transmission of light and uh, clarity and I just want to show you this here now so as I've lifted the glass up well first of all I should show you so this is what we're going to place under here okay and we'll place that under there now and we're going to lower that back on and we're going to zoom in so you can see here now that uh, even though that we have put a sheet of plastic over this uh, piece of glass, still excellent clarity. In fact, the eye cannot pick up the magic that is inside this plastic that turns us into an electronic device. So uh, you should be able to see that quite clearly as I come over here. Of course you can now see the reflection. And so now we have an interactive glass once it's uh, all mounted up and powered up. So thanks for staying with us. So one of the um, aspects you'll find out about um, that I want to explain now is that you notice I'm sitting it on a sheet here. One of the advantages of having it on a sheet when it's on a table is first of all it's going to pick up uh, the water that you um, squeeze out but also it becomes quite easy to shift the glass um, across the table surface without actually the glass dragging on the bench surface and so just provide that little bit of protection um, so that it's not scratching and rubbing against the hard surface and it's simply just then a matter of dragging the, um, the sheet you know, in the direction um, from where you want to go and to um, pull it in that direction so just uh, a little precaution there and of course you know just constantly just viewing it making sure nothing's moved and you haven't twisted something so uh, that's our demonstration of uh, turning a piece of plain glass exactly like on your shop window or on your sliding door into being an interactive surface that can either now be projected onto with uh, the right projection screen material or you would then place this um, in front of a LCD screen. Thanks for watching.